hello guys welcome to this channel kitchen things today we are going to be doing kitchen things <laughs> okay uh, my name is joy and you are welcome please subscribe to this channel um just to help us grow like comment share all that good stuff today i'm just going to be making um dinner for the family um some of you are be making egusi and fufu um and also be trying out my new um sandwich maker which i got from amazon i think it's called tower and it's um i'm looking forward to trying that on this video you'll see um so yeah please do enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe and share um yeah so i'm here getting ready to blend my mixture for the agusi so i've got the palm oil on already yeah. i began using a lot of like frozen things you know like peppers and frozen onions here i actually diced um like onions um but normally i actually use frozen onions um i just find it quicker and easier and i wonder how many um sort of people are doing this as well um but yeah it just makes cooking a lot faster when you're not having to like chop everything um yeah so any shortcuts i'm all for it <laughs> you know when you're busy mom and wife any shortcuts you're happy to go ahead with so here i'm just adding my ugu leaves um so with that also i use frozen ugu leaves which um, pumpkin leaves they are it's the English word for it and I'm just preparing my egusi yeah it's already been blended and packaged and like I said in this kitchen easy 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 anything that can save time I'll go ahead with it this time is of the essence um and you'll see later on that um even with like boiling meat and everything like i've already done that um so i take a day out and do like a batch cooking and specifically for beef and um all my protein basically so all the pomar was also cow skin cow foot um and all these things um, I get them all boiled up and put them in a the freezer so during the week as I'm cooking I can just bring those out and um, yeah so my husband tends to like um, fresh soups and um, so I try I try I say to avoid like freezing you know batch cooking soups and freezing it so instead how I get around that is I batch cook the beef and all the cow foot and the protein and the fish and I put them in the freezer as you can see I just brought that out now I put them in the freezer and it just makes cooking the stews a lot quicker and a lot easier so now I like to clean up as I go along so the task is less daunting <laughs> and um it's more relaxing rather than stressful. So let me know what you guys do actually. Do you clean up as you go along whilst cooking or do you just leave leave it to the end and then clean up at the end? I used to be like that. I used to just um, kind of leave, like just cook, focus on cooking, leave things to the end and just like clean up at the end. Um, and some, somehow I just changed and I just started doing it as I went along. I remember actually growing up, 
my mum always used to say to me, clean up as you go along, and then getting married, my husband would say the same thing, and I just always used to feel like it distracts me from cooking, I just want to focus on the cooking, and then I'll clean up. Um, but I don't know what happened really, I just started to clean up as I went along, and it did make things quicker, so dishes aren't piling up at the end when I finish cooking, and it's just... No, you're not having to do like a whole cleaning session after you finish cooking. So yeah. Legacy is coming together and I don't have any tactics guys for like making a gussy. I just simply put the things together. <laughs> like within reason I just um, put all the things in the pot that need to cook and let it cook. And it's worked out well for me, hasn't been any major disaster. <laughs> so yeah, I think we can actually um, overcomplicate cooking and turn it into this huge chore whereas you need to make food that is cooked and tasting nice and nutritious for your family and that's the goal. So here I'm doing my fufu, I'm just mixing, mixing, mixing. Um, yeah, so I remember back in the day that like, we used to boil water in a pot and then add the fufu to it and it just would have so many lumps so I've discovered that this way you know you get fewer lumps and it's just easier to actually um, to mix um, so I would just put the, the, um, the fufu flour in the pot and then add the water in gradually just like as if you were baking um, so it just reduces the amount of like lumps that you get at the end of the day and then I would add more water let it simmer let it boil let it cook and then mix 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 and we're good to go yeah so here's me just adding a bit more water and just mix it a little bit then I'll put it on low heat um, or medium low and just let that steam let it cook Right, here's so our new sandwich maker or sandwich toaster. Um, so yeah, I got this off Amazon. This is the first time I'm using it. And um, I've had like sandwich toasters in the past, but they've been a lot smaller. And I haven't been able to really use a full size like um, slice of bread in it. So I've had to either use a smaller size or just cut up um, the regular size um, bread into them but this one what I really like about it is that it fits a full like slice of bread in there um, I like that there's less spillage yeah so it's quite um, giving in terms of like size so it's very forgiving in that so when I make my sandwich I just like butter both sides because it just, it's just nice you obviously don't have to butter both sides but And in the filling, I've got just sardines, egg, and a bit of cheese. I think that's cheddar cheese. I have no idea about the differences between cheeses, by the way. So if you're looking for like expert advice on cheese, this isn't the right channel. <laughs> um, but I just kind of, I like, I like cheddar because I just, know what cheddar is <laughs> basically um mozzarella we use sometimes um yeah so we just buy grated cheese it saves time as well again yep i'm just going back to check on my fufu and it's doing well it's boiled it's cooked so mix mix mix
I think when it comes to making fufu as well, like the best thing you can do is get a big, strong um, wooden spoon because it just it just helps. Um, you're not having to worry about the spoon breaking. I've had so many spoons breaking on me. It's not a joke. Like I'll be mid stir and it just snaps. And yeah, it just it's worth investing on a strong wooden spoon. And then I'll go ahead to wrap to wrap some fufu for the evening. So I'll just do I'll wrap up mine and my husband's. And it keeps quite well in the um, um, food warmer, so it does stay quite hot, which is good. And that's my sandwich all done, looking lovely. Go ahead and clean the sandwich toaster straight away, and there's minimal cleaning because there wasn't any. Um, leak you know like spill out other sandwich toasts have had they've like spilled out and it just makes worse cleaning so yeah suck it suck it suck it <laughs> so yeah there we go there's the tower i just ordered it from amazon um it is really good i'm liking it i'm enjoying it i've used it a couple times since um filming the video as well and it's just really good the only thing about having appliances is just the wires everywhere. And if anyone has any tips about how to get the wires looking better um, and just more organised, please do let me know in the comments section. So back to the fufu. <laughs> Kitchen is all about multitasking. So <laughs> I tend to you know make dinner and then whilst making dinner I'm preparing something for lunch at the same time <laughs> or like snack or something so always multitasking in the kitchen <laughs> guys that's baby in the background and you know how it is um yeah <laughs> It's real, so. Let's have a look at how Eggsy is doing, and it is doing well. We are almost there. Taste test. <laughs> you have to taste the food, guys. To be honest, I've gotten to a point where I don't I tend not to even taste the food because I've cooked, you know, these dishes so many times. I just know what is needed. Um, but it is always a good sort of practice to taste. To just say that, you know, if you need a little bit of extra salt, go ahead and add if not. You know. And here I am, just washing up. I don't have a dishwasher guys and I've never really wanted a dishwasher. But growing up I just always used to feel like dishwashers like it's more hassle than it's worth. I don't know. Like especially because you have to like um remove all the you know debris off and then put it in. It's like by the time you've rinsed all the dishes before you put them in your mouth or just wash them, I don't know. But yeah, I have people that I know that swear by dishwashers. Um I just don't I just don't see the benefit. You having to put things in and take it out, it's just long. So um here I'm just washing it, washing it, washing it. Honestly, I seriously spend most of my life in the kitchen, but it's so worth it because, like, I just feel like as I'm in the kitchen, I am serving my family, and it's just like the best way that I can actually express my love to them as a mother, as a wife, um, 
yeah so it's just a place of expression where I'm cooking good food and I'm cleaning and I'm making sure things are hygienic and that they're fed they're well nurtured and it's just a blessing to be able to um you know be at home and cook and clean for my family I really do enjoy it and that's one of the reasons why I started this channel because I feel like I do spend I know I spend a lot of time in the kitchen and I just really enjoy it so I just want to share that with you guys and hopefully build a community um, of like-minded people and um, hopefully also motivate and encourage others. Mm, look at that egg you see, it's looking lovely. And it tasted so good that it's like it was just yummy. yummy. I always love a good like I've never really had a bad a it's just something about it like it just tastes good. <laughs> it just tastes good. <clears throat> so here we go, just showing you me eating. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for the video today guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do like, subscribe, share, join the community and um, more videos coming out soon. And enjoy the rest of your days guys. See you on my next video.